This video covers notes 2.5 over translating inequalities. They ask us to answer the following and to show all work. So problem one says the home cleaning company, we can call that HCC, charges $312 to power wash the siding of a house plus $12 for each window. Power clean, which we can use PC, charges $36 per window, and the price includes power washing the siding. How many windows must a house have to make the total cost from the home cleaning company less expensive than power clean? So we've been given a couple of helpful hints. First, they tell us that W is going to represent windows. So anywhere I see window, I know that's going to need a W. They also give us the inequality that I'm going to need in order to fulfill this information. So if I look for HCC, the home cleaning company, I know that that company charges $312 to power wash and $12 for each window. <clears throat> so $312 to power wash and $12 per window. Again, we don't know how many windows, so I'm using W to represent windows. Now from my inequality, I know that I'm looking for where the home cleaning is less expensive than power clean. So for power clean, I know that they charge 36 per window and that's all they charge. So power clean is going to be 36 W because it's 36 per window. Now the question has asked me um, how many windows. So I am trying to solve for W. So I'm going to use my don't call me after midnight. There's no distributing because there's no parentheses. Um, when I cover up one side or the other side of the inequality, there are not like terms that I need to combine. Um, I do have variables, W's, on both sides, so I will need to move those. I'm going to move the 12W to the other side by doing the opposite operation um, because I only have W's on this side, so I'm going to move my W's over there to make my steps easier. So on the left side, I have 312. On the right side, 36Ws minus 12Ws is 24Ws. I don't need to add or subtract because when I'm trying to, hold on, when I'm trying to solve for W, I only have a 24 attached because there's no operation shown that is attached through multiplication. So I will need to multiply or divide. In this case, I will need to divide by 24. So in my calculator, I'm typing 312 divided by 24, and I get 13 less than windows. So 13 less than windows. If I switch that, windows greater than 13. So more than 13 windows would be my answer. You also might be able to get away with just the inequality, but if your answer choices are listed in um, word form, then you would need to make sure that you know how to rearrange that. So 13 less than windows or windows greater than 13 would mean more than 13 windows. Next, we know that Tammy is planting tomato and pepper plants in her garden. Each tomato plant T requires six square feet of space and each pepper plant P requires four square feet of space. Tammy's garden has an area of 150 square feet, which inequality represents the situation. So I'm not really going to actually write an inequality. I'm actually just going to circle an answer choice. So when I look at A and B, they've already been crossed out. And the question is, why can't I cross these out first? So I haven't even written any work or done anything. I've just crossed out A and B. So I'm going to try to figure out why. Well, if I look, this has 4T and 4T. But up in the words, each tomato plant T goes with 6. So C and D have 6T listed, 
where a and b have 4 going with t. So the reason we can cross out a and b is because the variables and the numbers don't match up. If I notice p goes with 4, so p and 4 go together, p and 4 go together, but over here they have 6 and p going together. So I can immediately cross out two answer choices only because the um, answer choices don't make sense with the problem. The letters and the variables don't match up. I'm sorry, the numbers and the variables don't match up. So then when I look at C and D, the only difference is those inequalities. So I'm going to try to figure out which inequality is incorrect. So if I know that her garden has an area of 150 square feet, then she can't use more space than she has. So the space she uses needs to be less than or equal to the space she has. Now we don't know what she's going to use, but we know that she only has 150 square feet. So that's going to be answer choice C. This is saying what she's planting can be greater than the area that she has. Well, if you only have a garden with this area, you can't go outside of it to here. So that would not be correct for answer choice D. Problem three, four times a number is greater than 58 more than twice the number. Write the inequality that would be used to find the numbers to satisfy this condition and solve. So we've been told that n is number. So anywhere I see the word number, um, I'm going to use an n. So this has kind of already been started for us. 4n would be that 4 times a number. And then 2n plus 58 comes from 58 more than twice the number. So these pieces have already been set up for us from the words that were given to us. So four times a number is greater than 58 more than twice the number. That's what's already been set up. So we just need to figure out the is greater than. So the greater than sign, remember, less than looks like an L that has been slightly shifted. That did not work. So less than looks like an L that has been shifted. So greater than is going to go the other way. So four times the number is greater than 58 more than twice the number. Now they also ask me to solve, so I don't. I need to use my don't call me after midnight. I don't have parentheses to distribute. I don't have terms on both sides. I do have variables on both sides. So I'm going to move the two in the reason I'm moving the 2 in is because I only have a variable over here. So I'm going to move my variables to one side. I don't need to add or subtract, but I do need to multiply or divide. So in my calculator, 58 divided by 2 is 29. So any numbers greater than 29? Numbers greater than 29 would satisfy that condition where 4 times the number is greater than 58 more than twice that number. So again, sometimes you'll just need to write it like this. Sometimes there will be words to it. So make sure you know how to translate it into words as well. And the last problem, problem four, Mel works as a waiter. He uses the linear expression 4x plus 5 to calculate his hourly earnings in dollars based on the number of tables x that he serves. What is the fewest number of tables he must serve per hour in order to earn more than $25 per hour? So we are looking for what he earns to be greater than $25. We don't know how much he's going to earn but we know that he wants what he earns to be more than $25 per hour. Now we know that x is hours, you could also use h for hours, but we have this linear expression for his earnings. So instead of earns, we're going to use that expression 4x plus 5, and that's going to be greater than what he wants to earn. He wants to earn more than $25. So what he's earning needs to be more than $25.
So to solve, we're going to use our don't call me after midnight. We don't have um, parentheses to distribute. We don't have like terms to combine. We don't have variables on both sides. So this is a two-step problem. To solve for x, I'm first going to subtract 5 from both sides. So 4x is greater than 20. And then I'm going to divide both sides by 4. And x is greater than 5. Okay. Now the question they asked me up here was the fewest number of tables he must serve per hour. The fewest number. So we know that x has to be greater than 5. So it can't be a, can't be b, because neither of those are greater than 5. But c and d are both greater than 5. The key word here is that word fewest. The fewest number that he must serve would be the number closest to 5, the, the next number greater than 5, which would be answer choice C. So D, he could work $7 to earn more than 25 per, I'm sorry, he could do 7 tables to earn more than $25 per hour, but he wants to know the bare minimum. He wants to know how many tables he absolutely has to do without going over in order to get that money that he wants.